and then lastly is um, is room to the left so in my previous videos uh, when I explain in more detail about the indicator I talk about the rules that I use and the word room for, room to the left comes from uh, a trader called Walter Peters in his uh, book called Naked Forex and what he talks about here is where price is at a rejection level yeah how much room to the left is there so if we take this example here like I said to you before price has not been there until 3636 bars ago times by five minutes however long that is so if I zoom out over here you can see prices you know 3000 bars back so you gotta go quite far back and this is what Walter talks about there's a lot of room to the left so visually you can see that there's a lot of room to the left here and that's why that number is quite high and I've tried to you know trying to put rules around it for an indicator trying to sort of room to the left I think room to the left works really well at high level or higher time frame trading because it means that price has not been there for a very long time if you get such a big number and the example that I'm going to show you now is on the euro GBP chart over here and we're going to be looking at this pin bar that is formed over here 2291 bars so what that's saying is 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 the top of this wick this rejection wick if I zoom in slightly the top of this rejection wick here price has not been seen for the last 2229 bars in this case a daily chart so it's not been there for 2291 days now how many days so you know it's about six years six years price has not been at that level yeah and the fact that it's formed a pin bar means that it's extremely likely that price is going to reverse so I just want to confirm that thing if I go on to a weekly chart for a second and so actually might need to go to a monthly chart yeah yeah so the pin bar was here just having a look yeah so price last was there guessing would have hit this bit here in 2009 yeah yeah about six years ago yeah that price was last um, last not seen there until like 2009 just if I go back to the daily chart over here so yeah so a long time yeah so that's what we mean by room to the left the longer the room on the higher the time frame the more likely that it is that price will will reverse but also again using confluence factors here not just trading pin bars on their own using other indicators and other tools we have available to us we can you know confirm this a lot more so here's another few ways on, on what on what uh, I've used so first is a Bollinger Band so again price is outside of the realms of volatility over here secondly I've put an RSI on and RSI is at an overbought level extremely overbought there what's that RSI strength there 80 so normally it's 70 is the rule of thumb but 80 also the stochastics also above there uh, above there and we've also got a cross as well we've also even got a bit of divergence here so again divergence is where price is doing one thing and the oscillator is doing something different so in the RSI case you can see price is making higher highs RSI is making higher highs but here you can just see that you know if I go on this this section here of the stochastics that's a high there and price is here and then where the pin bar is formed there's another high but it's actually a lower high and then price is making a higher high so what that means is that even though price is making a high high but the stochastics is losing steam giving us another indication that price is set to again reverse from this uh, from this scenario here so if I have a look over here sell stop just before 400 points 
points with a stop of, you know, worst case 100, between 800 to 800. So you can easily make over four to one on that on that particular trade. So again, this is room to the left, higher the time frame visually, the more room you can see to the left, the bigger the number, the stronger the indication of, of a reversal. In this scenario, we've got price above a Bollinger Band, RSI in an extremely overbought, Stochastics in an extremely uh, overbought, with a crossover, with also divergence between the price and the indicator. All those factors added together, you know, it gives you a strong indication of a down of a downward move. And in this case, you can see a massive downward move of that factor so you know that's really about it really so those are the four ways that you can uh, you can you can use you can use it again ma pullback continuation of the trend bollinger band using outside volatility at a support resistance level and also rooms to the left of price being an extreme price that's not been there for a while so i really hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe like comment uh, any feedback you've got around the indicator, please let me know and I'll look forward to speaking to you all soon. Thank you.